Welcome to this introduction of an exciting and wonderful new version of Painter, Painter 12.2. This version of Painter introduces four new features, uh, the incredible flow maps, a brand new uh, way to interact uh, with Painter using the iPad, and that is the iPad app Synco, and then uh, also uh, enhanced docking and multi-touch. So let's start off with what for me as an artist is the most amazing thing which you're gonna absolutely love and that is flow maps. So let's start off with a blank canvas here and I'm gonna bring the palettes um, into view and the, immediately you'll notice there's a few um, new things in terms of the palettes or the panels and we're gonna notice that there are now flow map um, panels and flow map library panels so they've been added to the art materials and we access these through the window menu flow map panels we will also notice that in the brush controls for real watercolor we now have additional controls connected with flow and you'll see these on the lower left that real watercolor control panel is accessible under Windows, Brush Control Panels, and you'll see down here Real Watercolor. And I'm just going to open up the brush selector here, and you'll see that I have Real Watercolor category selected. And by the way, a little um, tip here when you look at the brush selector, if it's narrow like this that you see me just adjust on the screen you'll notice that all the names get shortened so real watercolor becomes just real and like digital water digital watercolor just became digital um, so if you want to see the full names of your categories you have to make sure that your brush selector view is stretched wide enough now the real watercolor brushes they actually all now have flow map capability all of them but what Corel have done is at the very bottom of this list you'll notice three new variants the melted flow map and I'll just do a brush stroke the noisy flow map fringe and the wet flown map fringe and immediately you'll see that these have a behavior that is just incredible in terms of an organic look let's go back to the noisy flow map fringe and just experiment a little bit here um, I want you to notice that I also have on view here the papers and paper libraries and the reason for that is that these flow maps essentially um, allow you to have both the effects of paper grain and the effect of flow going as if a wind is pushing the paint around going through some form of a um, map, a 256 grayscale map which you see here in the flow map panel. So we can really get some wonderful interactions. So here, for instance, I've got pebble board. And I'm just going to delete that watercolor layer. You'll notice this is an example of brushes which generate their own layer, in this case, a watercolor layer. So here we have the noisy flow map fringe using the pebble board and I'm going to purposely exaggerate the contrast of the pebble board and notice how that now influences the look and feel of the flow map and the same applies to scale if I sort of increase the scale of that pebble board we get completely different looks and feels